your young brother? Who, who this is right here? Jesus, he said, Jesus, what you say, brother? Who this is? He said, Jesus, I want to show y'all something. Now, who is this? You see that? You see the problem? He said, this man that looked so right, so in white, he got to be Jesus Christ because he white. But this black man is the devil. He's Lucifer. That is a lie. Give me that in Revelation. What nation of people do you talk about? Uh, Go back to Isaiah 1 and 3. This is the point. Everybody want us to teach what they want us to teach, but we must teach you what God calls you. You, you, you believe in the, in the Bible? You believe in the kingdom of heaven? Do y'all sisters believe in the kingdom of heaven? I guarantee you, ain't nobody else out here talking about the kingdom of heaven and giving you the road map to get there today. Nobody else is talking about that. Any other thing that you can, today could be your last day on the earth. This could be the last time you hear the word of God. You understand that? How are you going to get to the kingdom of heaven if you don't know how to get there? How? How do you get there if you don't know how to get there? This is your road map. Your forefathers left this. It's been commercialized. It's been commercialized for you, Kelvin, to think that, for you sisters to think that nationality don't matter. Hold that, give me revelations of uh, the kingdom of heaven. I'm gonna show you why nationality matters. You, you, wanna, you, you wanna see heaven? You wanna see heaven? You wanna see heaven, right? This young man, I know he believes in God. You wanna see heaven, right? We all say that. Well, if you don't know your nationality, then you can't get the kingdom of heaven. The Bible is going is recorded. Read that. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. This is the kingdom of heaven that we're about to read about. Read. It had a wall, great and high. The kingdom of heaven, it has a wall, great and high. You got to imagine this thing. Higher than you can ever even imagine. That's the kingdom of heaven. Read. And had 12 gates. How many gates? And had 12 gates. Now, contrary to popular belief in our churches, we've been taught that the kingdom of heaven, there's one pearly gate. We all go into the pearly gate. How many times you heard that? You heard that a lot, right? We've all heard that. We're going to the pearly gates. God said, what about the gates? And had 12 gates. There are 12 gates to the kingdom of heaven. Let's find out something about this kingdom of heaven with these 12 gates that we all want to get to so bad. Read. And at the gates, 12 angels. So at the gates on the kingdom of heaven, there's 12 angels. Why are these angels there? You ever been to a party, RSVP? You can't just walk in a party, right? You can't just walk to the club and walk in, right? What's at the door? A security guard, a bouncer. Read that again. And at the gates, 12 angels. So these 12 angels are standing at the gates to restrict entrance and exit into the kingdom of heaven. How many times you heard this in church? Raise your hand. Can't raise your hand because you never heard this in church. They don't teach this in the church. Read. And names written on. So there, there are names on the 12 gates where the 12 angels are. Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the names on the 12 gates that are in the kingdom of heaven are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Let's find out if African-American or black is on these gates. Read on. On the east three gates, and on the north three gates, and on the south three great, great gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, uh -huh. and in the names of the, of the, in the, in them, the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. Read on. And he taught with me, and he that taught with me had a golden reed to measure the city. So when you look on this side right here, you see these 12 tribes? These are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. 
When you look on this sign, if you find your nationality on the right side, which is what you're called today in America, you're an Israelite. That's right. You're an Israelite. You're not black. You've been lied to. You're not African American. Those are two white men. You've been lied to. So your true nationality is you're an Israelite, either from the tribe of Judah, from the tribe of Benjamin, from the tribe of Ephraim, and all the way down. How do we know this? Because when our forefathers came in on slave ships, they knew their nationality. So why don't we know ours today? Because slave master cut it off. He chopped us off from that history. So now today, I'm black. I'm African American. Well, the pastor, give me that in Malachi. He's supposed to be teaching this. Our pastors, they read the Bible. How many people out here got pastors? Got pastors? Raise your hand. Our pastors read the Bible, right? Why don't we know our nationality? Because this is what the Bible says. Read this. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest lips. The priest what? The priest lips. These things right here. The priest lips, his mouth should keep knowledge. It should keep the knowledge of God. Read. And they should seek the law. You men and women, you children, you should be seeking God's laws. At his mouth. At the mouth of the pastor, the preacher, the man that's telling you about the kingdom of heaven. Right. He should be telling you about the, the, the 12 gates. Not that there's one pearly gate, because salvation matters. How many people want to be saved? Because we ain't saved right now. We walk out there right now and get shot down in the street. That ain't saved. You're saved when you're in rulership. You're saved when you're in rulership. When your people are not subjected to payments. Go back to that in Baruch real quick. Because today, we don't have no freedom. You got to seek You gotta seek the same man that oppressed your people for a driver's license, for a birth certificate, for a, a damn email address. Anything you want, you got to go to them for. That's not called freedom. And God said that this would happen to the children of Israel because we broke his commandments. Read that. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Come on. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. The nation of Israel. You brothers and you sisters that don't know your nationality. God said what? We are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this very day in our captivity. That's why I can ask a young man, how old are you? A man that's been on the earth 20 years. Don't know his nationality. He don't know what nation of people he come from. I bet you done been through middle school, high school, all that ain't. Never learned your true nationality. Do you think that is by design or you think that's a mistake? It's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. Give me uh, uh, uh give me uh, Mal give me uh, Maccabees 348 real quick. This is not a mistake. Who is this right here? I'm gonna everybody look at this picture. Who tell me who this is right here? Who is this? Who? Don't be scared, sis. Say it. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. What you say, sis? Antichrist. She said Antichrist. What you say, brother? Who this is? Antichrist. I mean, I'm asking y'all. Hey, young brother. Who, who this is right here? Jesus. He said Jesus. What you say, brother? Who this is? He said Jesus. I want to show y'all something. Now, who is this? You see that? You see the problem? He said. This man that looked so right, so in white, he got to be Jesus Christ because he white. But this black man is the devil. He's Lucifer. That is a lie. Give me that in Revelation. Give me that in Revelation. This is why it's important that we teach our children and that we come back to the Bible and learn our nationality. Because I guarantee you nobody told you that was Lucifer. The picture that has been painted of the black man his whole life has showed him that a black man ain't nothing. That a black man is a demon. That a black man is a devil. When you're the greatest man that ever walked this earth. Right. There'll never be another man that walked this earth like you. You understand that? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The book of Revelations is the revealing of Jesus Christ. The root word in Revelation means reveal. Why does Christ need to be revealed again? Because Christ knew in these last days, this 
will be perpetuated as his image. And this young brother, who's his, who, who, who is his kid, would think that this is Christ. Right. So we're going to find out what the Bible is reading. Which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servants uh -huh. things which must shortly come to pass. You are the servants of God. You black men and women are the servants of God. God gave you his commandments. You're his servant. Read. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Uh huh. Who bear record. How do you bear record of something? Today, our children bear record. As soon as something go down, they grab their phone and do what? Everything. That's how they bear record. They record it. But in John's days, in ancient days, how did they bear record? They had to do what? They had to write it down. Come on. Who bear record who of, wrote the, down of the word of God uh -huh. and of the testimony of Jesus Christ read on. and of all things that he saw. So John wrote down, read that last part, and uh, of all things that he saw. So John wrote down what he saw. The young man said that this is Jesus, but John wrote down what he saw. Let's see what John saw. Read on. Blessed is he that readeth and they that he hear. He say, blessed is he that read. Our people don't like to read. They got a term out here in society that says, you want to hide something from a black man? Read, don't write it down. You put it in what? a book. What? Put it in a put book. It in, they say you want to hide something from a black man, put it in a book. John, John said what? Blessed is he that reads. John said, blessed is that black man that read, though. Come on. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. You are about to hear the word of this prophecy. Read. And keep those things. Which are written therein. Read on. For the time is at hand. The time is at hand. That ain't no coincidence, y'all standing right here. The time for Christ to come back is at hand. You see war going on on earth, pestilence on earth, famine on earth. Oh, you thought that was recorded right here for nothing? No. Christ is on his way. It will behoove you to learn the truth of his Bible and repent and keep God's commandments. Read. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Read on. And heard behind me a great voice. He heard behind him a great voice. What's your name, bro? I know you Kelvin, right? What's your name? Mike. Mike. If I was behind you and I said, Mike, what you gonna do? You gonna turn around? What John said? I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice. John heard a voice behind him, what? As of a trumpet. Uh-huh. Saying, I am Alpha. So he Omega. turned around. John turned around. He said, what the voice said? Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. The voice said to John, I am Alpha and Omega. Read. The first and the last. Come on. What thou seest, write in a book. He told John, what you about to see, write it in this book right here. Come on. And send it to, unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Samaria, and unto Pergamos, and Thy Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and right. unto Lacedosa. So who was in those churches? These people right here. The Israelites, that's who was in those churches. Read. And I turned to see the voice. That so what? Spake. Mike, Mike said, Mike said he won't turn around if you scream. So what John said? And I turned. John turned around too. Wow. Come on. To see the voice that spake with me. Uh-huh. And being turned, I saw. He saw what? Seven golden candlesticks. When you look on the back of this garment, who got a garment? Turn around. This is the seven candlesticks. He saw a menorah. Seven candlesticks. Come on, turn. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. But in the midst of the seven candlesticks, you got to imagine this. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, what do you see? One like unto the Son of Man. You see that right there? We ain't saying that this is Jesus Christ. We're saying, the Bible is saying, if Jesus Christ walked to earth today, he would look something like this. Let's read on. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had on a garment just like we got on down to the foot. And girt about the paps the, with a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle on. Ours is purple. Come on. His head. And uh -oh. his hairs. We're talking about Christ's head now. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. I want you to come in, Kevin. I want you to rub the top of your head. What's that color right there? We can look at it and see what it is. The yeah. Bible said what? Whoa. His head and he his said, hairs. The head on his head and the hairs on his face were white like wool. Brother Mike, let me see your beard. As white as You see that? Read it again. His head and his hair. I guarantee you, you might get a little ball up there for hair. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Mike. You know what I'm saying? But if you had hair, it'd be the same color as that. Yeah. Read it again. His head and his hair. You see this? His yeah. head and his hair were white like wool. What people on the earth has woolly hair? Black. Only black people. Black. So where, 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 so where we get this from? Where did this come from? I don't they made it up. I'm going to show you they did. Come on, read it again. <laughs> his head and his hairs were white like wool. The Bible said Christ's head and the hairs on his face were white in color and woolly in texture. Come on. As white as snow. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says his eyes were like a flame of fire. Now, Christ drunk wine in moderation. Mike, you drank wine before? 
Come on now. You ain't never drink wine? Who don't drink some wine? Everybody have a little wine now. You have a little wine. Ain't nothing wrong, wrong with drinking wine. When you drink the wine, what happens to the whites of your eyes? They turn what? They turn red. Read that again. And his eyes was a flame of fire. His eyes were a flame of fire. What was Christ's first miracle? They what? He did what? <laughs> He turned the wine into water. What did they do with the water? They, they poured, they, he turned water into wine. What did he do? Pour the wine out? They did what? So when he drank wine, the whites of his eyes turned red. Christ was not a drunkard, even though that's what they tried to paint him as. He's not, he was not a drunkard. His whites of his eyes were red because he drank wine. Read. And his feet. Uh-oh. Like unto fine brass. Now I can see the sister feet. I can see the sister feet. What color is brass? Brown. What? Grass is brown. brown. I can see the top of your feet. They brown. Yeah. They brown. Your feet brown. brown. They said Christ's feet were what? And his feet like unto fine brass. It was like it was like fine brass. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. Now if you take a piece of brass and you put fire to it and burn it, what color what color does it turn now? It turned what? So who in the hell is this? <laughs> who is this? Where this man came from? Christ was a very dark-skinned man yes. but this has been pushed throughout the four corners of the earth why and it's come with a doctrine his doctrine is what come as you are all ye saints you all gonna be saved no 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 that ain't recorded in the bible the bible is talking about the salvation is for the 12 tribes of the children of israel get that in luke get that in luke real quick we got to come back to the remembrance of who we are hold that first give me first kings real quick first kings chapter 8 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's so much we can show y'all. We know we ain't got much time, but we wanna, we want to show you that you're the greatest people that ever walked the earth. And contrary to what anybody out here is gonna tell you, salvation is for you. That's who it's for. It is not. It ain't no. There is no scripture in this Bible. That's all we do. This is our true uh, profession to understand and read this Bible to bring the word of God to our people who are lost in the slums of America, who are lost in the ghettos, who are the last hired, the first fired, shot down on the streets on a daily basis. It's our job to help raise you up and to pick you up from the dung hills of the earth. Uh, Nobody else gonna do it. Everybody else out here buying, uh, selling chicken and french fries and, and all the other craziness. Nobody is saying, you're the children of God. Right. You gotta wake up and remember who you are. Read that. Daniel chapter 10, verse five. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked. He lifted up his what? I lifted up mine eyes. So everybody's, everybody's talking about what they see. The Bible is a colorful book. Everybody's talking about what they see. But in today's time, ain't no color. No, we're going to read the Bible. Read. And look, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen. So he had on a garment. He, had, he was clothed in linen. Come on. Whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. So it's talking about that same girdle. Come on. And his body also was his like... What? His body also was like the barrel. Come on. And his face as the appearance of lightning. It says his face was the appearance of lightning. Right, come on. And his eyes as lamps of fire. His eyes were like lamps of fire. Again, read. And his arms. And, and his, his arms. And his arms. And his feet. And his feet. Like in color. Wait a minute. I thought it wasn't no color in the Bible. Like the, in color. Like in color to what? To polished brass. That's brass right there. <laughs> Y'all brass looking. Y'all brass looking. So the Bible is saying what? This ain't Christ. No, he don't look nothing like brass. No, 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 no. no. Well, I'm gonna show you who he is. But this right here is brass. Right. Yes. This is brass. Now give me that in Luke. Luke chapter one, verse 68. Come on. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of who? Of Israel. Of the whole world. Of Israel. Of everybody. Of Israel. The Lord God of Israel. This is from Genesis to Revelation. You can't change the Bible. It's from Genesis to Revelation talking about the children of Israel. You are the children of Israel. Yes. It's talking about you the whole time. Yes. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Come on. For he has visited. He has visited. And redeemed his people. Read on. And hath raised up in the horn of salvation. That horn of salvation that's been raised up is Jesus Christ. Come on. For us. For who? For us. You see how personal this Bible is? He said, my people. For us. Come on. In the house of his servant David. Uh-huh. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. So all throughout the Bible, what did the prophets do? They came to the children of Israel and said, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Don't do this, Israel. Don't do that, Israel. You got to wake up and keep God's commandments. Read. Which have been since the world began. Read on. That we should be saved. That we, we, us, I. 
we us i that we should be saved from our enemies from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate and us and from the hands of all that hate us who's the most hated people on the planet oh, yo. that ain't no secret no. you go to china you get beat up you go to ukraine right now they ain't let you get on the bus try to leave it don't matter where you go on the planet you a nigga right there's a name for you. It might, I don't know what they say in China. I don't know what they say. But they, 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 they show, they, you show them anywhere you go. So the Bible is telling us who we are. This has been our, our guide back to the kingdom of heaven and to our Lord and Savior since the Bible was written. But it has not been taught in its context. Go to Mac, that, that, read that in Maccabees 3.48 that I had you hold it. Because where did this come from? There was a time in history when this man was painted. This man actually walked the earth. His name was what? Cesare Bogea. Pope Alexander what? The sixth? Pope Alexander the sixth, son. This man walked the earth, but he was painted by multiple artists during this time. Michelangelo painted him. Leonardo da Vinci painted him. But let's see what happened. Because I ain't got to talk. The Bible going to say it. Now, look. You see this book that he's reading from? This is the Apocrypha. But you see this right here? This is the Bible, 1611 version that King James translated with the Apocrypha in it. In early or late 1600s, the Protestant church took this out of the Bible. So when you go home, you're not going to see this in the Bible because it's been taken out since the 1600s. So read that. First Maccabees chapter 3 verse 48. Come on. And laid open the book of the law. They laid open the book of the law. What's the book of the law? The Bible. The Bible is the book of the law. Read. Wherein the heathen wherein the heathen, the other nations had sought to paint the likeness of their images. This is the painting and the likeness of their image. This ain't in the Bible. This was painted. We're not here to argue, sister. We're not here to read on. Where the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They sought to paint the likeness of their images. It's called, in today's time, it's called iconoclasm. When you go to Egypt and you look in the tombs in Egypt, right? All of the writings on the wall were of black people in ancient times. But if you go there now, they have used artists and they have dampered and painted their images in the temples, in those, in those uh, uh, pyramids. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.